All right, in this next page, Mr. Houston proves the Pythagorean theorem. Oh my God, he is a good guy and a good teacher. What a saint, I don't think I did this in my classroom. It says here, read with me, both figures shown here are the squares with the side length A and B, A plus B. Notice the first figure is divided into two squares and two rectangles, okay, okay. The second figure is divided into a square one giant square and then four little triangles with the side lengths A and B. Let's call the hypotenuse of these triangles C. Okay, that is not in the drawing, so I'm gonna put a little C right there. There, there, and there. Okay, now that's complete. What is, number one, what is the total area of each figure? Figure F, figure F is a square. Come on now, people. Uh, that's just A plus B squared. Same thing with G, but they're, what, trying to call this B plus A? I'm not even going to bother with that. I'm going to call that A plus B squared. And I think the main point they want you to get across, that they want to get across, is that these are equal. All right? This big square is the same as this big square. Okay. Then it says here, find the areas of the smaller regions of each figure and label them. All right, no problem. We can handle that easily here. All right, that's just A times A. So I'm gonna call that A squared. Now I'm just gonna circle it just to keep it a little bit organized. If I'm talking about an area, it's gonna be in a little circle like that, okay? The area of this one is called AB, A times B, right? That's area of a rectangle. This one's easy, b times b is b squared. And here, I could call it ba, but I'm gonna stick with ab, uh, just to stay consistent, all right? So those are those four areas. And then for this side, oh my goodness. I have ab here, but it's a triangle, all right? And that's just half of a rectangle, so I'm gonna call that one half. A times B. Okay. Luckily, this triangle is the same as these other three triangles, so I'm just going to do that all the way around. One half AB. One half AB. And the last one, one half AB. All right. If that does not make sense, put it in the comments below. All right. Or shoot me a text. I'll put my text and my phone number in the description. The area of this square right here, because we got C's all around, is C squared. Okay, that is going to set us up nicely for number three. It says here, add up the area of the four regions of figure F and set this expression equal to the sum of the areas of the five regions in figure G. If you rewrite this equation using as few terms as possible, what can you show? Oh my goodness. Uh, this right here woo, is not enough space. Sorry, we're gonna go to some scratch paper over here, okay? And I'll use the fat marker just because I can. Uh, I know one thing from number one. Area of F is equal to the area of G. Okay. So we are going to keep that knowledge in our pockets for now. Okay. Uh, the directions were add up the area of the four regions of F. Okay. So. Let me, oh, I know, I'll be slick and do that. So what they're saying is add up everything that I wrote in circles there, because those are all areas, all right? So I'm going to have A squared plus AB. Oh, man. I could take a shortcut and just write 2AB, but I'll do that in the next line. 
plus b squared. Now that's all of area F and all of that is equal to everything in area G. Okay, and I've got C squared, the middle one, and I am going to be boring and write all four of those little ones separately. One half AB, oh man, I'm gonna run out of room, aren't I? That's what I get for using the fat marker. Okay, yeesh, that is ugly, but we're gonna clean it up right now, okay? So we're gonna combine like terms, and I like to do that using underlines because I don't always have a highlighter handy. This plus AB is the same as this plus AB. All right, so let's clean it up a little bit. I'll have A squared plus B squared plus. Now, aha, there is an invisible one here, all right? I just want you to know that, my friends, or remind you of that. So that'll be plus two AB, okay? And here on the right side of the, of the equation, I should have all these equal signs lined up. Oh well, do that next year. Uh, I'll have the c squared and this one half ab plus another one half ab, another one half, and another one half. That's four halves, okay? That's one half plus one half plus one half plus one half is equal to two. Two ab. Man. That's it? No, I thought this was gonna be harder. I'm just gonna subtract two AB from this side of the equation. And if I do it on the left side of the equals, I gotta do it on the right side of the equals. Minus two AB here. That's gone. I like to do a little arrow that says that's equal to zero. And I am left with A squared plus b squared equals c squared. That is it, my friends. That is the Pythagorean theorem. Dun, dun, dun.